A Spokane attorney suspected of kidnapping and raping the victim of a car crash is finally getting his day in court. 78-year-old Bob Caruso vows that he will be acquitted of the charges and that any sex that went on with that 22-year-old driver was consensual. You saw it first on KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey's Twitter account and he is now in the uh, KXY 4 studio uh, with more on it. Impartial, how to get this impartial jury underway, Jeff? And Nadine, these 12 jurors and three alternates will be getting an earful of salacious testimony. The evidence they'll hear includes illegal drugs, sex toys, and even the attorney's own handcuffs. But at age 78, Caruso, not bashful about still being sexually active, but he also says he's not a rapist. Today, 75 prospective jurors filed in the courtroom and got their first look at the white-haired defendant. Bob Caruso says he witnessed a collision at 3rd and Maple back in 2014 and stopped to render aid. He told one of the drivers he was an attorney and offered to take the 22-year-old crash victim to the hospital. Caruso told investigators indeed he did deliver the woman to Deaconess Medical Center, but she didn't want to get out when she saw a police car parked outside the ER. Caruso's passenger explained that because of her previous DUI, she technically wasn't supposed to be driving, and so the pair went to Caruso's nearby condominium instead. Well, Mr. Caruso admitted to law enforcement, and, and this is in the uh, declaration for probable cause, that he had consensual contact with her. He denies any criminal wrongdoing. The woman who escaped Caruso's apartment wearing just her undergarment says the sex was anything but consensual. She claims once inside the condo, Caruso drugged her with oxycodone and alcohol Alcohol. However, the victim's blood draw only turned up hydrocodone and methamphetamine. This woman is very clear that she was cuffed and that she struggled, uh, and there is no DNA of hers on these cuffs, which is a much different statement than there's no DNA on these cuffs. There is. Nadine Crusoe will also tell the jury that even though he's an attorney, he waived his right to remain silent and spent three hours talking to detectives about what happened that night. We expect to hear opening statements in this case on Wednesday. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXOI 4.